Hello and welcome to a special CLI Magic presentation. I'd like to demonstrate a security issue with GNOME Terminal, XFCE Terminal, Terminator, Quake, and other terminal emulators that are based on the libvte library. There are actually quite a few. The libvte library provides a terminal widget for these programs that manages the display of characters as well as the scroll back buffer which allows you to scroll backwards in the terminal and view old data. In September of 2009, a change was made to libvte at version 0.21.6 that changed the way it handled the scrollback history. Instead of storing data only in memory, it opened up files in the temp directory and unlinked them while keeping the file handle open. Then it would write out the data flowing into the scrollback buffer to these files. This means that anything you see in your scrollback can potentially end up on your local hard drive whether you are working locally or remotely through something like SSH. A recording of all sensitive data you might see while using your terminal and you probably didn't expect it to end up on the hard drive, essentially breaking the fourth wall of the terminal. In this video, I will show how this works by opening GNOME Terminal and connecting to a remote host. For demonstration purposes, I've created a virtual machine that has a separate 150 megabyte temp file system so that it's easier to isolate the data there. First, I'll run strings on the file system to show that there is minimal data on the file system at this time. Nothing special here other than the normal files that end up in slash temp while running X windows. Now on to GNOME Terminal. I have the scrollback buffer in GNOME Terminal set to 5,000 lines, which is a pretty standard size for someone who wants to have a bigger scrollback buffer. I don't have to use unlimited mode to exploit this problem. Now I'll connect via SSH to the remote host on the same network. On the remote host that I'm connected to through SSH, I'll cat out the contents of Neil Stevenson's essay, In the Beginning There Was the Command Line. This puts a lot of unique text in my scrollback buffer that I can go back to on my local host and look for on the slash temp file system there. First, I need to run the sync command on my local host so that the kernel will flush the write buffer data to disk. Now I can run strings on the temp file system again and right away you'll see the contents that were in the other terminal scrollback buffer and are now on the temp file system of the local host. Here is a section of text on the local file system compared to the original that was catted out on the remote host. What this means for you is that if you've been using one of these terminal emulators in recent years, you potentially have a lot of sensitive data on your local hard drive. Anything that you've seen in your terminal window from security information, passwords, sensitive emails and information, medical records, and so on could all now be residing on a storage medium that is not normally accounted for when dealing with sensitive data on a remote host. If you are a system administrator with users who connect to a server using one of these terminals, you need to account for the fact that they too have been writing any data that they've seen in their terminals to any computer that they would have connected from. There is more information about this flaw in the video notes. I urge you to change your terminal to something that does not use libvte until this issue has been resolved. You should also go back and find any hard drives that it might have been used with the vulnerable versions of libvte and wipe those drives to eliminate any compromised data that exists there. One note about using console, the terminal emulator that comes with KDE, it also writes the, its scrollback buffer to disk. The data isn't quite as obvious when sitting on the disk because it's encoded, but it would be trivial to decode the data. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to let other people who you know who use one of these terminals to watch this video so that they also know that there's this serious vulnerability.